Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. I have quite a few really nice 2022 born Boas available for new homes. So in case you're looking to add a really top notch example of a locality or morph Boa to your collection, please stay tuned. And so I haven't been shipping Boas for the last month and a half or so, but the weather is actually getting warm enough that I'm gonna be resuming shipping soon. And in fact, I have a shipment going out this week uh, to the someone on the West Coast. So the West Coast is warm enough that I can ship. You know, in general, the temperatures at all, at the destination, any hubs and the um, my, my end, have to be at least 40 degrees for the highs. And if that's the case, then I can ship with heat packs. So just let me know where you live if you're interested in whether or not I can ship. Unfortunately for the East Coast, usually the packages go through the FedEx hub in Memphis, Tennessee. And so not only on my end in California and your end, like if you're in Florida, have to be warm enough, but also in Memphis, Tennessee. So that might delay the shipment. Um, you know, it's, obviously in South Florida, it's warm enough to ship, but if there's a hub where it's not, I'm not gonna be able to ship until it warms up enough. And that might not be until March, maybe late February, early March, something like that. But anyway, I'm gonna take out my close-up lens and try to get some close-up footage of some examples of really nice boas that I still have available. And no, the, all the nicest ones did not go. Some people think that if they don't get in on the first choice of the boas, they're gonna miss out. But really, uh, you know, there's still a lot of really, really nice boas. By no means did all the nice ones get snatched up. And in fact, typically people evaluate them based on the quality of the photo, not the quality of the boa. Sometimes a boa is just a little more photogenic in a picture, it looks a little better. Maybe it just shed or maybe the pose is just right. You know, that boa is more likely to be sold just because of the nice picture not because it's a nice boa, you know, I hope that makes sense, but there's still a lot of really nice boas remaining and hopefully you can see how nice they are with some of this close-up footage that I'm gonna get. I'll show you guys some of the boas I have available right now and this is by no means an exhaustive list, just wanna give you an idea about some of the different types and I wanna start with the Surinams. I have several litters of Surinams from last year that I have babies available. To start with, this is my litter number two. This is a Prometheus bloodline litter. This is male 11 from that litter so a real nice animal beautiful pattern luckily he's holding still and i can just do a quick pan here um, just beautiful animal uh, from the prometheus bloodline here's another really nice Suriname. this guy is also coincidentally 11m male number 11 but he's from my litter number three he's not holding still as much as the previous male but this is from a litter that was born from a really small female. She's maybe about four and a half feet long at uh, about eight years of age. So she might be kind of a dwarfish animal. So these animals might not get real big. And all these Surinams I'm gonna show you are really well established. They're about six months old, feeding on frozen thawed, no issues with regurgitation or anything like that. So some real nice Surinams available right now. Moving on, here's another type of red tail I have available right now. This is a Pacalpa Peruvian female born in 2022. If you've been following the channel, you may remember I had just one very small litter of Peruvians in 2022, which was just four animals. And this is the only one that's available. Uh, beautiful female. She's really starting to develop the beautiful or or yellow color and that beautiful red tail. You can check out those gorgeous head markings and beautiful pattern and a pretty big animal these guys were almost two feet when they were born so they're definitely bigger than my Surinams uh, which is typical for the Peruvians but these guys should uh, grow a little bit faster than the Surinams and um, really nice animal so if you've been looking for a Peruvian they're super hard to find these days and this is a really High quality one. I had my first morph litter in 2022 and this is one of the remaining animals. This is a jungle moran female. Just a gorgeous gorgeous animal. Just love the colors and pattern and the overall clean look on this one. Uh, you know moran is a great underrated gene. It's a incomplete dominant form of pastel and I think that when you combine it with jungle you just get this beautiful combination 
One of my favorite morphs by far, the jungle moran, and this female is a top-notch example. There you can see her a little better, and this animal just kind of has this pink glow to it. It's just kind of the, the moran really makes the colors pop, uh, and the jungle kind of helps that effect as well. There's a quick close-up pan. You can see this beautiful jungle moran female. I actually have another one, her sister, who's just as nice. Uh, so if you're looking to get into a jungle moran or any morph project, this is a great start because these are both incomplete dominant genes. You can breed this one to a completely normal male and you'll get jungles and morans and jungle morans. Moving on, 2022 was also my first year of breeding Coupes Pastel Colombian Boas, which are a selectively bred pure Colombian line that has these beautiful pastel colors. And this is a male, and you know, this, this guy is actually accounted for. Uh, this male is sold. The reason why I put him here is the buyer who is, you know, paying it off on a payment plan asked me if I would just put his boa in a video. So here he is, and uh, Hopefully you're watching and you can see your boa, which I hope to have to you pretty soon as you know, the, the winter cold is going to recede in the next uh, couple months. But this guy is doing great and beautiful animal. I do have a few that are unaccounted for, so let me grab one of those. Here's a Coupes Pastel Colombian that no one's claimed yet. This is a female nine. And this one, you can see the beautiful orange colors just a beautiful animal. These are great pet species, as are pretty much all Colombian boas. They're really calm. Uh, almost all of them are eating frozen fod with no problem and real easy to maintain as well. Great starter boa, but you know, beautiful for experts as well. Great species to work with. There you can see a close-up of the pattern. And the, this is a project that goes back a few generations to a breeder in Germany who has uh, been selecting for these really uh, colorful Colombian boas and Vin Russo continued the project and that's where my breeders came from. So great uh, multi-generation project. Each generation these animals are just getting more and more colorful. Moving on, here's a dwarf locality boa that I just have a couple left from my 2022 litter. These are Quaki dwarf boas. The only true dwarf that I still have remaining. I actually have some of these paired up right now so I hope for more in this summer but right now just a couple left they're all female and these guys are doing great putting on some size and beautiful light gray colors they're not eating frozen thawed yet like most island boas they a little tricky a little bit trickier to get onto frozen thawed so they're still on live uh, hopper sized mice but hopefully within the next few months they'll switch so nice beautiful dwarf crawl key boa. And the last type of 2022 boa that I have available are the long tail boas or long jacata boas. I had kind of a large litter in 2022 so I have quite a few still remaining. This is a male and he's doing great feeding on frozen thawed rodents putting on some size. You can see the dark markings that these long tail boas are famous for are starting to develop but the babies look uh, completely different from how they look as adults. They put on a lot of the dark pigment. It's almost like the IMG or increasing melanin gene in a loca locality bow rather, rather than a morph. So a great species that a lot of people really love and there's a dedicated cult following for these long tail boas. They're not as well known but they're a great pet species. They don't get too big, about five to six feet, so kind of a semi-dwarf and a lot to recommend them. Thought I'd show you one more Lon Jakarta. This is a female available right now, and I have quite a few animals left. So if you go check out the Flickr page, you can see pictures of all of them and descriptions. Quite a few pairs as well if you're looking to start a breeding project. This is just a really nice female. And there's a look close up at her markings, but just great animals to work with. These long tail long jacata boas. So those are just a few of the really nice 2022 born boas I have available. And I will have more boas this summer, but it's going to be quite a while, probably 
July or August at the earliest before any of them are ready to go. So if you want to add a boa to your collection and see saw something that looks good, I'd recommend you reach out to me and we'll see if we can make it happen. And so um, the complete list of photos with all of the boas I have available right now is available at my Flickr site and there's a link to the Flickr site below the video description. You can also see a link of my terms of sale. So if you're interested in doing business with me, please read my terms of sale. I try to outline everything as clearly as possible in writing, so there's no surprises. So read that and let me know if you have any questions. Also, since it might be a couple months, depending on where you live, before the BOA can be shipped, I will also do payment plans with a 25% deposit. I will hold the BOA for you until it's warm enough to ship at which point you can pay off the balance so if you're looking to get a boa but you don't quite have the money right now you might want to take advantage of something of this type of a payment plan anyway i hope you enjoyed looking at these boas let me know if you have any questions or comments thanks for watching and enjoy your boas